what's up guys welcome back to another video um this video uh we're finally getting back to the eclipse um it, i just got a new wing for the back of it um i'll show you guys the issues that i have with the current wing on it um in a minute here and uh, i might just give you guys a little update because there are a couple things that changed about the car that um was never on video and my garage is messy, so sorry about that. But yeah, so let's just jump right into this video and then at the end we'll kind of talk about the Eclipse and uh, everything that's been done to it since you guys saw it last. So here are my issues with this wing. Um, first of all, I don't like um, that it, it, it kind of looks round in, in the video here, but I don't like how it comes to a point right there. Um, I wish it was just rounder. Um, second of all, it's fiberglass. Um, and when I bought it, uh, this bottom piece down here actually went like way past the tail light. So I had to trim it and I trimmed it a little bit too high up. Um, so I had to kind of adjust the wing like this. And so that's why the corners are sticking up. Um, also, uh, the new wing that I have is uh, a little bit taller, um, and this one's got the typical fiberglass uh, crap that I just did not want to mess with because I knew I was going to get another wing anyways. Um, but yeah, it's got like a bunch of holes and stuff that needs filled. Um, but yeah, so this one's going in probably the trash. Uh, I'm going to be pulling it off in a minute here. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Um, I don't really care about damaging the wing, but obviously I don't wanna damage the trunk. <clears throat> so uh, we'll kinda just try to pry up on it and see what see what it does. Um, and then I might end up having to use some fishing line or something to cut the glue in there. But here is the new wing. It's basically the same idea. It's a lot taller um, and it's a much better made wing. It's also ABS plastic. So uh, it's a little bit easier to work with um, in case I need to push something down or whatever. It's a lot easier to make the plastic fit and uh, change the shape of this carbon or the fiberglass. All right, so the new wing is a little thinner than this, so I just gonna, gotta, I gotta clean up this uh, black glue a little bit on the edges here so that you can't see it underneath the wing. Uh, same thing on this side. Now I'm going to sand up the inside of this wing here to kind of give it a little bit of uh, something for the glue to stick to. That's done. Uh, I'm going to wipe this down with alcohol too uh, and wipe the inside of this with alcohol. Uh, and then we'll apply the glue to the wing and then I'll uh, stick the wing.
All right, so I let it sit for a couple hours. Um, it's probably not dry enough, but I'm too excited to care. Um, I think it'll be okay. So, the really cool part is I actually bought the original uh, stickers that go on the back of the trunk here. Um, obviously, they're not gonna go on the trunk, uh, but I can put them on the wing. Uh, and that, I think, to me, is gonna be super cool. Uh, so, uh, I just gotta take this tape off over here. Um, and then I'll kind of stencil it out where the stickers are gonna go um, and put them on and I think it's gonna be super freaking cool. Uh, just gonna add to the cleanliness of this car, which I love about it, so let's do it. All right, so again, I'm gonna wipe this down. That looks freaking good, guys. I still gotta clean up this glue a little bit. That's actually from the old wing. Um, I'll just get some rubbing compound and kind of wipe this down. There's a little piece right here as well. But this wing is already a million times better than the other one. So, yeah, very happy. Um, this is actually the ABS plastic wing that I actually think they ship it out of Russia. I'm not sure if you can still get it or not with the current situation but but i got it a while ago so she's been sitting around waiting to get painted um so i got a couple updates about this thing if you guys are uh, following this project um number one uh, i actually sold the headlights the jewel the jewel headlights i made um and i made these instead Um, those you could see a little bit better with um, just the way the geometry of the jewels um, the way it's set up in the Acura there's just no way to get them in to look good in these headlights without um, compromising visibility another thing is I got a new set of wheels these are much cleaner than the other ones were uh, I really like the design as well um, they do poke out a little bit more than I'd like, however, um, you know, it's the sacrifices that we make, I guess, um, because uh, I got Brembo's on this thing, so it's pretty hard to actually find wheels that clear um, and look good and whatever, so there are the Brembo's. Also, I got the Evo 8 steering wheel in this thing. Um, this is actually a plate that I 3D printed. Um, I actually do sell these. Uh, it's just an airbag delete plate. Um, the reason I put it, I had to make one is because uh, the, the the steering wheel I bought had a blown airbag, so I wasn't about to spend, spend like three, 400 bucks on an airbag. So I just printed up the plate. Um, but I think other than those two things, the only thing I've really done to this thing is maintenance. Um, I went, uh, I replaced basically um, all the seals on the engine again, so oil pump, everything came out. Um, but uh, I think it's not leaking anymore, so that's good. Um, and yeah, and then that wing. That wing was the biggest thing that bothered me about this car was 
how ugly that wing looked if you actually got close and looked at it. So now that's all fixed. So yeah, thank you guys. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to do two videos a month. Um, there's no excuse for me not to be able to do that. So see you guys.